Hey everyone, I'm back here to do extensions. So with my hair, it's, it's getting so thick now, but um, I let it air dry. I washed it last night and I let it air dry. I let, I do that every once in a while to kind of preserve a lot more of the natural oils in, in my hair. I Blow drying it is gonna dry it out uh, when you do it on a, on a constant and consistent basis. Um, so if you have a night where you can or a day where you can just let it air dry and you because you have more coarse hair um, It's gonna make it a lot more healthier a lot more Hydrated so when I get out of the shower, I put my products in I use the chi serum. I use the IGK. I still use the IGK even though I'm not blow drying my hair um, because it still uh, puts a protective barrier on there so that when I do use heat whenever it dries it's still going to protect it but it's absorbed into the hair um, as you can see it just looks nice and shiny and healthy so what I do is I, I put my hair in a tight bun and a tight ponytail and this is a silk scrunchie and then I, I do that and then so th it, so instead of keeping it like that throughout the night or throughout the day, I'll move the ponytail so it doesn't form and then the rest of the, the hair will dry because this is going to create more of a smooth, um, a smoother texture to my hair. So then I'll move it up, I'll take it out, I'll put it in the middle again, I'll put it lower until I'm ready to style my hair. Um, that way when I when I dry when I curl my hair it's not going to be a super frizzy mess and it's going to be a little bit more tamed now I have all this beautiful hair here and what I'm basically going to do is I'm I curl my hair in along with where I'm going to be placing my my hair extensions um, tomorrow after my hair has relaxed there's no actual form in the curl it'll be easier for me to just place these in the positions of where i curled my hair um, but if i curl my hair right now my whole head what's going to happen is my hair is going to be very full and fluffy so that when i put the extensions in it's not it's going to kind of be lifted off of my hair from the volume of my natural hair all right so i am back i have a smaller chair i really wish it was a stool that's fun but it isn't so you're gonna have to bear with me because i want to show you the back of my head as i put in the extensions um, as i mentioned before how i'm gonna start is i'm gonna start here about middle of my ear here and just connect your fingers I'm gonna lift up this hair is that the amount hmm. might I could go higher but I'm not okay so that's where I'm gonna start because I'm gonna place my extensions in that spot so I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna curl and it's gonna just make this kind of go a little bit faster and smoother so why is it i thought i had her plugged in but i didn't so i'm just going to show you a little something while she heats up um this is what i'm using on my table i have two of them just because it's better to have more extras um, now, this is a one and a quarter inch curling iron. This one is from Hotshot Tools. It is pretty good because it goes up to 450, but it's not, it's not 450. I know when an iron is 450. And I've actually had to put it all the way up because on other irons, I can only put it on about maybe like 400, not usually past that, especially for like uh, hair extensions because it'll burn them. Uh, so I actually, I'm happy with the results because it's putting a really good amount of heat consistently. But guess what? This is only gonna last 
maybe four months, five months maximum of consistent use. Uh, because once this coating, this safe, beautiful coating that they have on there that they claim is ceramic or platinum, titanium, who knows, uh, it's going to wear off, uh, you know, with the heat and using it quite a bit. I am using a one and a quarter for this look because I want it to be a little bit more full and a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more glamorous. So um, I'm going to use this directly on the on the base of my hair because I'm using it to smooth. Now, if you have more straight hair, you probably don't need to do this step, but because I want the base to be a little bit more tamed, a little bit less frizz, and as you can see, I'm not going all the way down. I'm just going about a couple inches and it's smoothing out that. Now I'd split this in two because I'm doing this in bigger sections because I don't need it to be perfect because I'm putting the extensions on top of it. But I want this to conform to the actual extensions as it's on. So as you saw, I like to always start from the base and do that curl. You don't, you don't pull it to the end and then curl it. It's not, it's not the correct way to curl hair and it's not going to hold or create the shape the more perfect shape that you want and have it long lasting if you put that curling iron all the way to the ends and then curl up that is wrong that is wrong that is wrong so just kind of smoothing a bit and now I'm going to curl so yeah, I'm not used to the weight of this uh, curling iron. Of course, it's a little heavier than others. And I actually love a Marcel. So I got really used to using those. And the, it, the clips are just kind of, it's just a, a very bulky process, I feel. And that's how I like set it. And I go, and I literally like looked at my, like as it's sitting on my hand, that's probably why the burn is so bad. So, hair, lots of hair. Oop, let me move this out the way because I have to do a turn to show you. So I took all of the clips out and I kind of put them in order. So this is, that's been in there for a couple days now. And that's, that, that's a pretty strong hold of the curl. Now. I can feel where my hair is separated. So I'm just gonna go on to the top of that. I can feel in my hands symmetrically that I'm going straight to the back of my head and I'm going to set that down and clip it. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people will tease hairspray the ends and I used to do that it definitely messed up my hair um, and as you can see here it's not moving it's it's in place pretty good I don't let anyone touch my hair when my extensions are in anyway so a little squeaky chair you gotta bear with me guys uh, this particular hair is from Irresistible Me. Now, I ended up buying this to add to the other two hair extension sets that I bought. I bought a 16 inch and a 20 inch uh, from Glam Seamless and I've been using them forever, ever, ever, but it it's not, it just is not enough. It doesn't feel as full anymore. I've had to cut a lot of the ends even after a couple months of use from um, them drying out so much and me brushing them. I'm very careful. I am super take care of my, my hair. Um, and what these are, I found these to be really kind of cool. They're uh, 80 grams each. So I ended up buying two of these and 
this was 24 inch hair i had to cut i think i cut off almost almost all almost all four inches almost um this actually i've never seen these before um glam seamless had a halo type which was similar to this and it had a little string attached and i ordered them and apparently they were sold out and discontinued them and I never got them so I was super angry and I was kind of really out to just find something that was going to be more all together to make my life a little bit easier and faster and where there's more hair as you can see there's plenty of hair but for me less more is less less is more no how's that go well it's supposed to be less is more but in this case, more is more. I, I love a crap ton of hair. My hair, and hair is naturally thick, so I think if it was super long again, it would be pretty thick. So I'm gonna set that baby down because I'm actually doing two. So as you can see here, it's a pretty good amount of hair. Um, but if, if I don't put more, it's gonna be weighed down. So now this line, I know, I can feel it. I can see this is about, I'm, I'm going to stack this almost, almost, it's just going to be right above it, but not the full width. I'm basically going to put the clip closer to the top of the next one. So I'm not going that high. I'm going to go a little bit less than, like a smidge less than, nope, that's too thick. I'm going to go about three quarters up my ear three quarters and see so what I do is I feel I'm not I'm not, I don't have a mirror back there I don't have time for all that so I just I press my hand and I'm feeling okay is that across that feels and then I want to I'll touch this and I'll go this much and see how much area is far from the next split okay so that's a pretty good amount and I'm gonna wrap that up. So I use um, I use a hair tie instead of clips because I want when because I'm curling this hair. I don't want any of the hair from the top to get in, tangled in with the lower hair because it's just a hassle. So smoothing. Now I was thinking about speeding up this video and um just kind of you know taking out some of the the, the static and all of the excess <laughs> i keep burning myself um but i really want to show the process i want to show the full process so i feel like this video is going to be pretty long Besides me throwing in the makeup, which I'm, you know, it's just a quick juice. So it's funny because the back of my hair, oh, I, I've actually, I've shown that in my other, my blow dry video of how my, the ends are a lot thinner than the base of my hair because I had, you know, the stress of quarantine and COVID and me being such a person that likes to be in control of everything in my life, it super stressed me out and my hair just started just coming out in clumps. Uh, every time I washed it, every time I brushed it, it was just a massive amount of hair coming out. And now that it's growing back, of course it's a lot thicker at the base and my ends are thinner and I've had to um, cut, keep cutting, cutting, cutting. Because if I just cut it all off, I'd have, you have no hair. Um, but I've been cutting it to even it, even out the quantity, the volume, without trying to cut too much of the length, on, length off. Because I, I, just, I just got it cut again a, a couple weeks ago. And it just, it looks so much healthier and so much nicer, <laughs> but it's not getting long. 
It's not getting longer. It's getting thicker for sure. I do take um, vitamins. I have been drinking a collagen supplement that also helps with bones and hair and all that fun stuff. And it's a protein. It's called Vital Proteins, the collagen. I can't see it from here, collagen powder. Uh, and so far, I really, really like it. I've, I've got the unflavored one. And it has a, a slight taste to it. So if you just mix it with water and just down it, because I drink a ton of water on a consistent, constant basis. So I just, I just end up, you know, it's not, it's just normal for me to, to drink a, a lot of water, even if it's at one time. And, um, and I'll mix it in. And then I have a electrolyte powder from Vega One as well. And um, I mix that in for a little bit of taste. It tastes just like Kool-Aid and I love it. And it's all these good little things. I just fill up my cup, down it, eat it with my breakfast. So it helps with hair, skin, your body. You know, the older you get, you realize you need, a, a, you need help. You're always gonna need help, but the earlier you start, the better. So advice to all you youngins, take care of your body first, your skin, your hair, all this stuff. You're gonna start feeling it later. So fun, fun time. Okay, now, as you can see, I've curled my hair. And it's, it's, it's pretty smooth. I mean, it's a little bouncy, you know, but that's why I try to smooth the ends and then create the curl. And here we are. So I can feel where that one is on the bottom. I don't want to go too high. So I'm actually not going all the way to the part. I'm going just a little bit above the bottom weft, the one that's below it. So you can see I still have space there. So here, when you press it, as long as, as, long as the top clips and the bottom clips are a bit separate, there's not gonna be a lot of bulkiness. And there we go. So for some people that have long hair already, like let's say for instance, they have, you know, their hair's to about here or so, um, this is probably enough. That's pretty cool. And then they would just need a couple pieces in the front to create a little bit more fullness, but my hair is to here, so I'm gonna be adding a lot more hair. So now I'm gonna be adding, what am I doing on this piece? So on this side, now I'm, those were just the Irresistible Me hair. And now I'm going to be putting in two wefts of the Glam Seamless. I'm going to show you a close-up of those. So I can feel where my hair stops and starts. So I'm, when I start at the base and I'm smoothing it out, I'm holding on to the, I'm pressing this very, very, very slightly so that my hair will slide through. Just FYI. And if you hold it, if you hold your hair, even if it's longer, while you're doing that, while you're pulling it and starting from the base, it'll help to guide it and keep it in place. Because a lot of times if your hair is long and it's and it's falling laying down and you try to do that it's not going to stay inside of the clip so hold on to that end piece now with my hair i really i, I try not to put heat on it as much so what i'm gonna do is tomorrow what if i put these extensions in i'm not gonna recurl my head 
I'm not going to recurl the hair on my head. Because it's going to it's going to keep a little bit of form, but it'll be a little bit more relaxed. And once I put the extensions on top of it, it'll mesh a lot more together. Today is you know, I'm going to look super it's going to look super full and super fluffy which is beautiful but I don't I'm, I'm not going to need that super super glam for every single look or every uh, event or every everything that I have to do I'm definitely I'm not where I'm not putting extensions on just to go to the grocery store like I said before I'm most likely wearing a ball cap and joggers so I put it in every direction up down right left top because I need it smoothed in all directions so these are the glam seamless Okay, very pretty. Now, I'm putting two of these on. One is a four clip, one is a three clip. And what's really nice about these is that they're very, very flat. The band is very flat. I'm gonna put the three on first. Okay, oops, that's the four. But yeah, very flat. So I'm gonna put the three on because this is a more, because it's behind my ears, this is a more narrow part of my head. This is the 20 inch, right? I think so, I hope so. I actually got the 20 inch and the 16 inch mixed up before. Let's just check. Okay, yeah. Perfect. All right, so. Putting in the three. So this one, this one's gonna go a little bit lower because I'm gonna stack the four clip on top. So I'm putting this one right above that bottom, the, the bottom left. Oh, that's tight. Ooh. I, th I got caught on something there. I measure, I can feel, you can feel. Pay attention, people, pay attention to your bodies, pay attention to your head, and all that stuff. Oh, sugar. I forgot to show you, I'm gonna snack it. Anyway. So, this one is going right above that. And I'm putting this on in the same section because I want the thickness. I want the fullness of the hair that's going in between. Because now we're going, it's being layered. Okay? Now, now this is where we're gonna start playing with blending as well. Now we're getting to the top of the head. I'm not using all of the hair that I have here. Like I said, I, I mentioned before, I'm gonna be using the different layers and the different blanks, sorry, uh, and at another time for different things. We don't always need 20 inches of hair. But today we're doing gold lamb. I have really good hair. I have good curlable hair. I don't put hairspray in my hair before I curl it ever, ever, ever. Hair my hair isn't a huge fan of hairspray. Although that new hairspray that I bought and I just found, the Kenra, the Platinum. Hold on, I'm just gonna tell you the name of it. The Diamond Deflect Spray. 
is incredible on my hair. It gives just enough hold, enough tameness. Because it, hold is, when I think of hold, I think of crunchy. I think of heavy uh, fullness. This one doesn't have that at all. I can brush straight through it or I can just put some spritzes and lay down. So like if, like if I have hair like that, if I sprayed some hairspray on there, it would just smooth it right down and put and hold it all together. So a little tip, now that I'm getting a little bit higher and I want this hair to um, lay down just a little bit more, I'm going to, I'm gonna be smoothing it a little bit further down. I'm gonna be flattening it a little further down. And then I'm gonna stop about there for the curl. And that, that would be the difference. So normally if I'm, when I'm doing my hair as a whole, on its own, I would curl all the way up because I want it to be nice and full. But that's not what we want. And if I would have done that, again, it would have been so puffy. It would be so poofy when I put the extensions on top of it. And as you see, I don't, sm I don't smooth the rest of the hair because what that's doing is I am training it to go straight and then if I put the curl in it's not going to hold so as you see here it's nice and smooth and then the bounce I still have the curl at the end and that's that's how I tamed it that's what I want it to do you tell your hair what you want it to do because she don't want to cooperate all the time I don't know what her hair has a mind of its own it really does. Some days it's so pretty and perfect, and then other days you're like, what happened? Why? Why do you not like me today? Like yesterday, yesterday, I wish it was yesterday. Um, when I went out the, the, other, the other day with the sultry look and my hair curled, boy, my hair was so pretty. And it was super duper duper windy that night, so my hair was just flying everywhere and it still looked so pretty all right so i'm going in with the 20 inch side pieces okay so i i pre-curled these so now i'm what i do is okay that's that this is this side okay because i curl them away from the face half of my hair is going this way half of it's going that way always back away away so i'm gonna put this baby so the one that i curled on top of it to cut a little bit of time i gotta put it aside so i don't try to put it on that side makes my life easier so now i'm gonna go in i'm gonna go pretty close to my hair my hairline here and as you can see these are flat these are you're not gonna See them, you're not gonna feel them. And as you can see, this this line isn't absolutely perfect, but you know. Don't be too stressed. I'm so I'm so sad. This uh this clip on this weft is um it's it's losing its life, it's losing its feel. So now you can see now having putting those more uh, the two clips on the sides for the face is so important because if I didn't then this would be showing just these my short hair so now that's right on top of it why did you fall out okay what else so now I get to put in my 20 inch five clip and that one, so I put a pretty good amount of space here. Um, so this is the amount from my part to the top of the next weft. Okay, so that's, a, that's quite a bit. But I want this to start going flatter. 
So if you stack them too close together, it's going to create too much volume. And these go pretty, they overlap just a smidge on the side pieces. Okay, so this is what we have so far. A lot of hair. I mean, hello, sexy. Um, yeah, that's a lot of hair. But, I love it. I love it. You can't tell me any different any other day. Okay. I'm putting in more. That's why I bought all this hair. That's why I bought so much hair. Because I go big. I go big. And believe it or not, um, the quality of clips, the quality of the hair and the weight of the grams of the hair has definitely improved in in companies over the years so it's making it a lot easier to put more hair in without it looking crazy so i'm gonna do just a little thinner you know because i always want to feel i feel i feel i feel because i'm putting in a couple wefts more on one side of the smaller pieces. Oopsie, no, I'm taking away, not putting back. This one stops, where are you? Oh, see, I can't even feel it. Oh, that's too. So I'm putting an extra, I'm putting an extra weft on this side because I'm parting my hair on this side so this side can be thinner. So I'm gonna just show you. So we're getting pretty high up there. So we're going to put those long pieces because I still have more of those. That one is that way, so I'm putting it on this side. Now, I don't know if I want... Yeah, I'm going to keep this side long. So I was thinking of putting a... Um, I still might, I don't know yet. I was thinking about putting a, a short piece above that one, right on top of it. But I don't want, I'd rather this side be a little bit flatter because once I put this hair down to cover it, probably gonna put this behind my ear. So this one, I'm gonna pull it down low lower because this one I'm stacking that way yes I'm gonna use the five clip of the 16 because I want it to kind of overlap over here I'm gonna align it I'm gonna start it here where that clip ends and then I'm probably gonna overlap it this over on this side it's just like playing Tetris you know believe it or not kind of got to put things together where they fit Because these are designed to be flat. So it's 
going to kind of be weird. Oh no, is that? Yeah, that clip, that clip is broke. Son of a gun. Well, I don't need you anyway. Oh, holy smokes. Wait a second. Oh, well, what's happening? Oh, I forgot to open it. Uh, okay, you're open. So, okay, this, this reached all the way over here. Yeah, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, yeah, I curled it away. Oh, yay! So I have about this much hair out. I'm gonna create my crease. My part. Where do I want her? Hmm. I usually like a pretty far part. So this is the joy of having long nails. I don't need a comb. I don't need a stinking comb. I'm not getting too close, otherwise you're gonna see my gray hair. And it is not close enough for me to get it colored again. And granted, okay, yes, I only have, I don't have a, a lot. I don't have a lot, a lot, a lot of gray hair, but you can see it because my hair is all black. And it shows. I don't like it to show. So you gotta be a little bit methodical when you're using the <laughs> when you're using the curling iron as a smoothing as a smoother for the hair closest to the scalp because it'll create little dents. And this is I want it to be a really loose piece because I want it to flatten. And it, so that is showing way too much more than I want it to. That's not supposed to look like that. I'm gonna have to move these wefts over. They're too far. They're showing too much. Teeny tiny bit more hair instead of the actual position I had it in originally. A little further away from the hairline. This is going on top of another one, but I think it'll stay. So now, yeah, and you can see that. And then with this one, let's see if maybe it can show. I'm going next to my last one. right next to it because I know that I was a little bit further away than I wanted last time. Come on. Oh, this clip does not want to stay clipped. It's wet. Oh, that's the broken one. Let's see how far she is. Okay, definitely a little bit more over than before. Just don't, don't want it to show again. I don't usually have this much problems. Oh, it's just because I'm trying to be perfectionist with you guys. Hmm. Okay, well, it's definitely better. Okay. okay so that's my... Oh, it's sticking out there. Oh, no. 
to just slide this down a little. So perfect. Now we're going to curl the rest of the hair to cover the rest of those clips. If I wanted to be more efficient, <clears throat> could use a flat iron for this part. But I'm lazy. So I'm gonna let that cool down for a second. This is a bigger piece of hair, section of hair. And this is going to be laying on top of the rest, so I need it to be nice and smooth. I don't want there to be any creases or lines. And I definitely don't want any frizz there. beans. I had those little clips to set there, which would be great right now to kind of flatten it, but that's fine. So now that I'm getting at the top, I can use a clip. So I can see the top. So here, <clears throat> I'm going to be curling it because I want it to go this way. To create that draped look. But I am putting another piece. Let's see which way. No. Oh, you're the opposite. Oops. I think I have another piece though. Nope, oh, upset. Ah, here we go. That's curling a little bit of a Okay, so that's gonna show. That is going to show. Let's see, how can I fix this? How can I fix this? Because I didn't do my section further further not far enough back. Okay. Let's make it work. So, I'm not a hairdresser, never went to cosmetology school, I'm not claiming to be a hair specialist, but I wanted to show you this process and my methods to show you that, you know, you don't have to be a professional, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, practice.
I'm gonna be editing this and be chopping, chopping it up just a smidge, but you know, I'm recording already an hour exactly at this very moment. And doesn't doesn't actually usually take that long. But I'm kind of going with the process with you. I'm not, it's not like I'm like, oh, this is how you do it, and that's it's that. I'm kind of like, oh yeah, let me I think I'm gonna put this there, 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 there. So I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing the section, but I'm doing it, I'm kind of having it lay flat and then curve back. So I might have wanted to put another piece there, but no, because then it's going to be too thick. So here we are now. I'll split this in half. So yeah, I mean, if I can do this, so can you. It's going to take some time the first few times you do it, but you don't have to rely on somebody else. And I like clip-ins because, you know, it's non-committal. You don't have to commit to extensions. You use them when the heck you want. And you take them out. So it's funny because I'm like I've I've actually tried to sleep in these because I'm like oh, I don't want to do it tomorrow. It'd be so much easier if I just leave them in because these are heavy a little. Like the most ones I feel are the the two that that are on the bottom, but the rest of them are very very lightweight. So they don't have um they don't have weight to them. The, um, the top of my head but what can end up happening is that it's still latched onto your hair on your scalp and after so many hours it's it's a pull you can feel it and that's the couple of times that I tried to sleep in it I was just like mm, nope and I got up and I took them out because I could, you know, pull. This is a lot of hair. And I wouldn't leave it out. I would kind of, um, I'd wrap it in like a bun, bunish ponytail or whatever. So let's just see. Let's see. So I'm just letting that cool off a little. To keep a um, to keep the form of hair, I want it to always cool. So I actually used almost all of the hair. I've only got two 16-inch small pieces. Sorry, I I have a phone for the timer because I was timing myself earlier. I didn't know it was going to make noises. Anyway. And then I have two pieces of the top 16 inches. Whatever. It's the cost of being glam. All right, so, okay. I'm just gonna move back so you can see. So this is all of the hair as of right now. Brush. I have not put it together yet. I have not put product in it yet. I have not tamed it. I almost don't want to, but we must. So, instead of brushing it, I'm going to actually use a wide tooth comb to kind of see what it wants to do. Gun. The one with the 
the broken clip just came out. She has forsaken me. And destroying my table. Doggone it. Let's just see. Let's see. <gasps> it might work without her. Okay. 20 inch. -er. One of my 20 inches is gone. So I have 120 inch and then the wrap around it was 16. We'll see. Because again, I did want this side to be a little thinner. <gasps> I think it's going to work. What is that? thick right there. I'm just running my hand, hands down to see. Oh yeah, that's actually a lot better. So I have no side pieces? No, I have one. One, two. Oh, I have, okay, I have one 20 inch on that side. And I got two 20 inches and two 16 inches on this side. So, long nails, ha ha ha. My combs, so as you can see, my hair is here, but you can't see it. I won't let you. I do not allow it. Is this part over enough? I'm gonna say no, but I guess this might look a little more younger and fresh. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm basically just combining my hair and the different layers all together. If anything is out of position or not holding on good, it's gonna, you're gonna feel it doing this. like this to be a little bit more over <laughs> I'm I'm older okay I like the 90s juge uh, what is it called a uh, I don't know the side part I really I like it I like it further I'm just gonna try let's see come on hairline I have so much forehead. I can afford it. I can afford my forehead being covered. All right, so my hair's cooled down. I mean, you don't really want to put heat on. Ouchie, that was my forehead. Don't put heat on your hair when, when it's hot. You always have to, to, to change the shape. You want to make sure it's cooled, cooled down. That may or may not stay together, but I'm going to force it. I'm going to make it. You will see. So, a little trick I, I learned. You have to train your hair sometimes. Or let's say if there was like a little bump in there from like a bend from the curl, from the wand, I mean the clip. You could sometimes do that. It'll, it'll help to get rid of it. My hair's so damn thick that even though I put the put it directly onto my head, I didn't feel it. I'm not bragging. Sorry. Okay. See, I like that better. <laughs> like my best friend Keila. She always did her hair like this and I loved it. Oh man. Keila, I miss you. I think of you every time I do my hair and my makeup. Actually, all the time. All the time. I miss her so much. She lives in LA. So, okay. Um, what's kind of cool is I'm not, I don't need a lot of product, especially on the extensions. 
So I'm just going to put a little bit of the Kenra Platinum. Please sponsor me, Kenra. I love you so much. Okay. I'm just going to go in with a little comb. And I'm going to smooth my natural hair down. Okay. Oh, gosh. Look at that shine. I freaking love it. So my not my hair is what where it really needs the product as a finisher. And like I said, I I normally will not put hairspray on top of this. I'm on my on top of my hair because it just dry it it just absorbs all that alcohol and then it's like a crispy, gross, dry disaster. But this hairspray, my hair is just loving this. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of forming my hair and into the extensions. All right, let me turn around so you can see. So hopefully that falls into place, I can't see, but I can feel, so. You know, and, and um, weave always has a little bit more of a shine than, than our actual hair, unless you have oof, naturally straight, soft hair. So this hairspray helps to um, create a little bit more of that sheen. It's a very fine mist, so it's not a lot. I mean, it might seem like it's a lot that I'm spraying on there, but it's not. And then I also have the thermal shine spray, the rusk. Cause shine sprays can be very iffy. You don't want to put a lot of oil. Less product is better. Um, that's why prep is so much, so important. So now I'm just going to put a smidgen of that on there because look, I don't want to keep hairspraying when all it needs is a little bit of hydration and love. Nope, hydration and love is not fully helping that. Ah, oh, you can see my gray hairs, I got so close. Whatever. Okay. So I don't wanna, um, I don't really need the hairspray because should hold pretty fairly well. What this is doing is this is kind of just binding the hair together, but very softly. Like there's no shine on my hands. There's not a lot of texture. It's very, very, very fine, very soft. But again, I want my, my hair to blend as seamless as possible with this with the extensions and yeah it looks a big a bit like wig ish but who doesn't want to wear or have their hair look like a wig without having to wear a wig like i've never worn one but i heard it's not fun i heard they itch and they're hot and all that stuff okay so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I, I was, I, I was going to brush this out with a brush. I kind of want more longevity. So what's going to happen is later on, it's going to, um, it's going to start getting very piecey. And then I'm going to go in with my brush, you know, then that's when you can, that's when it, when you can, when it's ready, when it is ready to be softened up.
because these the curls gonna fall out a bit and then you know it's not it's gonna look less less perfect less tamed but you know I mean obviously I don't have to be like super perfect it's not a photo shoot if, if it was a photo shoot oh my god I've never never really done a photo shoot for myself so I'm gonna go grab one of my absolute absolute favorite 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 products okay so as some of you know I used to work with Zumba and I did the hair and the makeup for a large number majority of videos um, over a three-year span and one of my absolute favorite 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 people uh, came out with her own hair uh, edge control hair it's not a pomade necessarily because it has a little bit of a shine to it, um, but she came out with her own brand. It's called G2 Go, um, and it's the edge control, flake-free, non-sticky, non-greasy, and it smells like pineapples. It's so delicious, and I love it. Um, I am going to restock because I used a lot, and it lasted a very long time. This lasted a long time. So it is a clear substance, that's way too much. I just wanted to show you. So I'm gonna use just a teeny tiny little bit. I'm gonna put it on my fingers and I'm gonna rub until it's emulsified. And then I'm gonna rub it very thinly on those hairs oh yes okay so I'm just gonna go and grab a little bit more cuz I want to put it on the rest of the back of my hair so tiny tiny bit just putting it on the edges on the tips of my fingers sorry and now I'm gonna go in and Tell my hair exactly what I wanted to do. Listen to me. Now, she has a little brush that comes with it, which is awesome. Great job. So smart. She's doing all the thinking for us. I lost it. It's okay. I'll get another one. Um. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to flatten this. You can see the shine that I'm putting in, and, and you can see it a little. It creates that really healthy sheen and hold to the hair. So I, I can feel this. I'm going to feel this in my hair. But let me tell you, this is going to make my hair last. I use this for all my styles. I use it putting it on a bun. I use it putting it in a ponytail. I use it straightening, especially straightening my hair. Straightening my hair with this weather. But look at look at how tamed. Nice and tamed and smooth. So I don't need to put a bunch on this side. So whatever's on left on my hand, which isn't a lot, actually there's like nothing. It emulsifies very, very easily, and if you wet it, if you put water on it to, to maybe break it up a little bit more, you can do that too. But just putting it on this nat the natural hair is so freaking pretty. Or like if my hair was like acting up or frizzy or looking dull, I would just put a little bit underneath on my real hair and it would just kind of mesh even better with the hair underneath. Okay. Final hair.
So it was a lot of hair, but it, it's, I really think it was like the perfect amount for a super glam, super beautiful look. This is really popular. This type of a style is, is really popular for like weddings and things like that. There's different methods though. I mean, there's much very more controlled, pretty methods for weddings. But in a sense, this is about as much hair is used. So anytime you see those beautiful wedding photos with all that luscious hair, they got a lot of hair, a lot of extensions, a lot of extensions. That's what it takes. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. Voila. Thanks guys. Hey guys, so just kind of wanted to do a quick video on how I do my extensions with the, with the head, pins and clips. So the products that I use are the Thermal Shine Spray, also um, the Diamond Reflect Kenra Platinum. Always brush all the products through. Now, I love this stuff because it gives the hair a really pretty glassy shine. And of course the hair is really clean right now um, because I just washed it today. I used the Bailage Shampoo with the Bioterra Deep Mask Conditioner. I left the mask on for about five, 10 minutes and then rinsed it off. Now, you know, it's really important, the products that you use on your extensions, because you have to treat it like you would your own hair, and it's going to make them last a lot longer. It's going to uh, keep them very healthy, because there's no oil, natural oils for them. Now, after I wash and condition, I always use serum, um, because it's the stuff that I'm using in my own hair, so I use Chi Serum and the IGK uh, hair prep spray uh, before blow drying. I love that stuff. It is a miracle worker. It makes the hair feel really healthy. Um, and you know, using heat on, the, on this hair all the time, it, it takes a toll. Um, I've had to trim the hair quite a bit. Now this particular brand is a brand that I've had or that I've been actually using for a good four or five months now. The quality of this company has definitely gone down. I've been using this particular brand for a good five years now and I can definitely tell the difference. But you know, you, they can't control where they're constantly getting it from or maybe their manufacturer or you know, the same region, the same, you know, type or whatnot. But I bought, I ended up buying the 16 inch, which is here. And it's really short. Looks great with, if I'm just doing like a natural look with my natural hair, because my hair is to my shoulders. So it looks pretty, but it's not the greatest when they took out 18 inch and you can only go from 16 to 20. Now, this is how I put this hair onto the head. I basically put it through this little hole in the clip and these are gonna cool. This is the 16 inch, like I said, I'm basically gonna use those at a later time. I'm curl curling everything now so that I don't have to worry about it. This is pretty time consuming and you know i, I want to be able to put this put this hair on when you know the occasion arises so i'm just doing it all now all at the same time but it's been a whole day process i'll tell you um now when there's two i'm just basically going to stack these on top of each other i'm going to close them first and this is how you can do a couple at a time. I do a couple at a time. I don't do them all together because I want a really um, kind of a natural looking wave to the hair. It 
and, and kind of separate, separated. Otherwise, if I just do it all bulked together, it's just going to kind of all go um, and fall out, basically. And that'll be a pretty look, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for longevity right now. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to stack that in a second. So, um, this head, I basically, I got it on Amazon. Uh, I think it was only like 30 bucks. And I know that I've been doing um, a lot of hair stuff lately, even though I am a makeup artist. Um, I'm, I like to show the things that I learned because I didn't go to school for hair. And everything that I learned basically is very unconventional. Um, methods that I learned from incredible, incredible artists. Um, one of my favorite, 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 favorite makeup artists that I've loved and worked with for years and years and years. Uh, I needed, I wanted to um, basically learn everything that I could from him and be his like intern. And he mostly needed help with hair. So I learned a lot about hair working with him. And he taught me so freaking much. I mean, with makeup and hair. But we we basically, you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist. So he liked, he ended up loving the way that I, I did hair. So I ended up getting stuck doing hair. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing because I learned a lot. And, you know, being a makeup artist, especially nowadays, I mean, for actually for the last for years now. Um, makeup artists are basically hired to do both now. You can't just do one. Um, businesses aren't hiring two people anymore like they did back in the day. Um, so you gotta kinda know both. Uh, so it basically prepared me for life. Um, as you can see, just brushing it all through. I did that one way too close, so it's still a bit wet. Now, if that happens, if you put too much product, just keep brushing it until it basically dries. Remember, there, you know, there's alcohol in hairspray, so it'll dry. You don't want to put the heat, the curling iron on it. Otherwise, it's going to burn it. It's going to burn the hair. Now, I normally like using really good, good quality irons I don't have the best one right now but it's it, this one works really well um, because it's brand new but because it's not a high-end brand it's not gonna long it's not gonna have longevity um, once that coating of the ceramic slash titanium or whatever they're marketing for this product wears off it's gonna be just like putting a hot iron on your hair that's why it's important to um, spend a little bit more money. Um, this was kind of a last minute buy. I broke my last one and a quarter inch curling iron and just wanted to get a really quick one. Believe it or not, I got this one at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks. And you know, like I said, honestly, it's probably only gonna last me no more than four months. But that's okay, because I can save up for my good one. I really love um, GHD Fabulous, or however you pronounce it. But yeah, I, I, I love showing stuff like this because, you know, most people think it's hard or they can't do it, but me not being uh, a hairstylist and being able to do stuff like this and show you that it's not that hard. And you know, if you're interested in doing extensions, cause who doesn't love sexy long hair sometimes if you don't have it already? I used to have such long, thick, healthy hair when I was younger and curly, believe it or not. My hair stopped curling after I had my daughter. 
it just went straight, which was 13 years ago. Um, and then I started getting keratin, keratin, but keratin loves my hair. I, I never messed up my hair besides probably helping to get rid of the curl, which whatever, I curl my hair and straighten it all the time. Anyway, so, you know, this is just a little bit of the process. Um, it's a little tedious, but it's worth it in the end. Um, what I am going to suggest is just basically the little bit of technique that I'm doing here. And I'm sure you've seen this many times, but as you can see, I'm, I'm starting from the top and I, I've, I've kind of straightened it out and I'm now I'm going inward, always inward away from the face. Um, just creates more of that sultry look, but I'm kind of pressing the handle. And I'm just going to keep going inward to keep that curl tight and smooth and consistent. So you can see that this is completely flat. There isn't a lot of bumps or anything like that. That's going to create that really beautiful, luxurious curl. So this is definitely not like a beach wave or anything like that. Like this is a very um, formed curl. So yeah, I'm going to just finish these and I want to, of course, add these, this extension. I'm going to show the look, the complete look, once I finish the tutorial for the sultry makeup that I did uh, yesterday when I actually went to dinner because I got out of the house and didn't work had the day off. I did the look and I loved the way it came out. So really quick, so I just lost it. I lost the hair in that motion. So I'm basically going to brush it out. I'm brushing that out because I want to start over. Otherwise, it's it that curl held on to some of the product and made it a little stiff. And then I want it to cool off so that I go back in there so it'll still be smooth. And now I can start over because if I would have just went back and tried to do it again, it would have been kind of crunchy and not smooth. And you know, it had that product already making it in place. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera. I'm gonna show you the whole look with the hair, with the makeup. And I really hope you guys love it and enjoy it. I'm not sure if this is helpful at all in any kind of way. I just, I'm not sure what people, what type of, what level they are in, you know, styling, whether it's their makeup or their hair or where they're at, or, you know, they tried something or didn't really work out how they planned. And, you know, I, like I said, I'm a visual person. So sometimes watching somebody do it and, and seeing the steps that they take and what works for them, you know, worked for me. So enjoy and I'll see you soon.